that sudden infant death syndrome, which is the most common cause of death in children between one month and 12 months of age, okay, horrible. It's a normal, by definition, a normal healthy child with no problem who goes to sleep and is nifter. For no cause, nothing on autopsy, we don't find anything, okay? Horrible, absolutely horrible. And it's, it's common. It's, not, not a, it's the most common cause of death after one, between one month and 12 months of age, okay? But the good news is that it's preventable. Amazing. If you just take the children and let them sleep on their back, not on their front and not on their side, but on their back, and we don't really necessarily 100% know why, 50% reduction in the number of SIDS cases. And it's going down every year. It's absolutely incredible. But maybe we'll get to zero. Okay? And if someone's sleeping by, by, by grandma, okay, you need to tell grandma, don't put the baby flat down, you let them sleep on their back. Okay? Or the babysitter, wherever it might be. During the daytime when they're awake and they're around and you're there and you're watching, the exact opposite. Let them be on their front, let them learn, let them move, otherwise they can have problems with, uh, with changes in their, their head shape. But during sleep time, when they're not being watched, they need to be in a safe environment as well. And by the way, this is going to sound strange. Using a pacifier after one month of age decreases the chance of having SIDS. Okay? I used to not like pacifiers very much. Okay? But for young children, pacifiers actually, for some reason, and you don't have to keep putting it back in after they go to sleep. It's not recommended. But going to sleep with a pacifier scientifically has been shown to decrease the amount of babies with sudden infant death syndrome. So sleeping on your back using a pacifier, not sleeping in bed with the baby, by the way, which is, you know, some people do it, but it's not a good idea. There have been over 10 years or so, over 200 children die from sleeping in bed with a parent, okay? They roll over on them, they, they fall off the bed, a little infant, and they get between the wall and they can't breathe, and it's not recommended, okay? Unless you're conscious and awake and you're going to stay awake, don't take the baby to bed with you. Okay? I know you're tired, you want to... Don't do it. Okay? The safest ba place for the baby to sleep is not in your bed, it's in the crib. And for young infants, in your room even, it's fine. You're nervous, whatever, you don't have an intercom. They can sleep in your room. In an appropriate crib. Not a water bed, no soft bedding, no pillow. Nothing should be in the crib. The blanket should not be up here covering their face because they're cold. Don't do that. Over bundling them is a bad thing. Babies bundled in snowsuits and allowed to go to sleep, whether it's overheating or something, it can cause problems. Okay? They need to be free and they need to have minimal amount of things that can get them in trouble and occlude their airway. <clears throat> smoking during pregnancy, smoking in general is a big no-no, but that's associated with an increased incidence of sudden infant death. Smoking while you're pregnant could be a problem. Cigarette smoke in general, for many reasons, is not a good idea to expose babies to.